In this video, we're gonna process our toms. And as you can tell from the session, we have individual rack toms and floor toms. However, there's no processing or plugging on them. All I've done is sent them to a bus, which is right here called the tom group. And we're using insert five and six. On the session, you're gonna notice that there's been some editing. So that whenever the toms aren't hitting, they're basically muted out. But apart from that, there is no processing on them. So let's take a look at inserts five and six. Insert 5 and 6 is comprised of the BAE 1084EQ, the Tube 176, and lastly, the VEQ 4K Black. So let's go ahead and check it out what it sounds like without the processing, just drums and toms by themselves. As you can tell, the toms are there, but they're actually thin and weak, and they're a little bit too low in the mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to use plugins to address that. First, we'll use the BAE 1084, remove some of the low mud. By using the high Q, we can be a little bit more surgical with it. And since we're losing volume, we're gonna crank it up here. We're adding a little bit of low end with a low shell of that 110. And that's it, let's compare before and after. Next step, we'll add some compression. Just a little bit to hold it in place. Lastly, we'll add the 4K Black EQ. So let's go ahead and reset these settings. We'll use the low mids to remove some of that mud. And then we'll add a little bit of attack at 1K. Let's go ahead and check that out with the rest of the drums. This is before. And after. So I'm going to quickly preview the timeline and make sure that these settings work throughout the song. Check it out. So as you can tell, we were able to use the 1084 to clean up the toms, send them to compression, and then EQ them some more to make them fit in the mix. By using the signal chain, EQ before compression and after compression, it gives you the best of both worlds.